and welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan and this is day four, the final day of my classroom setup vlogs. Woo woo. And finally my hair did make it into a messy bun with a little wrap because it's day four, it's the last day set up and I couldn't be bothered to curl my hair this morning. So this morning I went to a few stores, got some stuff. I have my brothers coming in today. I also made a list of my to do. So I will show you guys that right now to show you what I'm doing today. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> So here's the stuff that I bought that I have to distribute. And then here is the long to-do list. And honestly, there's more than what's on there. So, better get started. Hello friends, so now it is Monday the 26th, yes, and as you can see I'm in my car right now. I just went out for lunch, we had meetings this morning, or like a meeting I guess this morning, and then now we have time to work in our rooms, but you guys, I was so tired, I needed to go out and get a Diet Coke, <laughs> so I just went to McDonald's, got a Diet Coke, and then some food, and then also I picked up an extra Diet Coke for later because I am just so tired today. I know it's just because it's like finally caught up with me, but yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> so anyways, I got a ton of work done yesterday, but I had like both my brothers in the room and my mom and stuff and I just honestly wanted to get stuff done I did not want to stop and vlog because I was just so focused on like trying to get as much done as I possibly could so that's why I'm combining this footage from today with yesterday's footage I have my dress right there that I'm gonna wear for open house tonight or for like meet the teacher right now it's just past one o'clock our meet the teacher night is from five to seven and I am so excited you guys my room is looking so much better and I'm really happy with it it's definitely not perfect there's still a lot that I want to do but like every big thing that I want wanted to have done is done also my stage was delivered last night so I kind of talked about this in one of my previous videos I said I was having something built for my room well, I had a stage built it is ginormous and I'm obsessed with it and it opens up and there's storage inside and all that fun stuff today I haven't vlogged yet because I had meetings of course and then I don't really know how much I'll be able to vlog today because like everybody's coming in and out of the rooms like there's still construction people here and tech people and all the people <laughs> and so I don't really know how much I'll be able to vlog in my room but I'm hoping to just show you guys at least like what the room's looking like and then I want to show you what my outfit looks like for meet the teacher once I put that on right now I'm just wearing this really cute little dress that I got off Poshmark and and um, I went out to breakfast this morning. They did like, or I didn't really go out to breakfast, I guess, but they did like a staff breakfast. So I wanted to look like kind of cute. So anyways, I'm going to go in and I will see you guys in just a minute. So it is just past 8 o'clock. Open house is over now. I had all of my kids come except for one, which is an awesome turnout. I'm really excited about that. And you guys, I am exhausted. I have put a lot of hours of love and work into this room and it really paid off tonight. My kids were so excited when they came in and my kids were just so sweet and I'm so excited to get to know them better and get to know their families and their interests and just everything. You know, it's just fun. It's a fun, exciting time of the year. So. I wanted to show you guys around how I have it looking right now, but it is going to change for the morning because um, I will have to do a couple things at home tonight to prepare for the morning. But I thought I would just show you what I have going on right now and then sign off. So this might be a short vlog, but that's okay. Let me show you around. Okay, so I don't wanna do like a full room tour because I'll do one of those eventually, but I'm just gonna kind of show you guys around. Tried to get it all cleaned up. So on the team tables, I have pencils ready to go, and then just this team table marker, and then on the back, 
just some iMessages, like sentence starters, which I'm gonna teach the kids about on the second day of school. So that is how the team tables are looking. And then I need to put that crayon in the back room. That was like a prop for the photo booth. But I just tried to like clean everything up just so it looks like kind of a blank slate. These, I'm doing a student lottery. I wanted to vinyl the front of it, but that will be another day. So I have all my student names written on ping pong balls in there. And then I can just pull one out for student, uh, like voluntolds, <laughs> not volunteers. Um, I'm gonna change this so it's set up for tomorrow. So right now it's Monday. Let's switch it to Tuesday, the 27th, maybe. <laughs> Almost there. There we go, Tuesday the 27th. Um, my stage is over here. It was a huge hit tonight. The kids were so excited about it. And also, my kids will not be allowed to open it up. So kids, if you're watching this, you may not open this. But inside, I have some supplies, which is awesome. So tissues back there, baggies, notebooks, all sorts of fun stuff. And then from the stage, <laughs> this is how the room is looking. I still need to clean the back room. That is something that was on my list that never got done, and that is fine. I will do that eventually. But I think it's looking really nice. I'm really excited to have our first day tomorrow. And then also this cart right here is kind of nice because I can put my papers for the day right here, and then any activity like supplies that we need can just go right in here, which is kind of nice. So then I can just have them like right at my fingertips so they're ready to go. So. Oh, I'm tired. It is time to go home, <laughs> like right now. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm excited about that. Um, I will say my, for whatever reason, my outlet in the back room is not working. It was working, and now it's not. And so my refrigerator is not working currently, or like it's not plugged in and you know working. So, anyways, I have to figure that out tomorrow. But for tonight, I'm like, I don't know if I should take everything out. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> clearly I'm exhausted. It's time to go home. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Stay tuned for a first week of school vlog. Or first day of school, I haven't really decided. Probably first week, because I don't think I'll be able to vlog enough tomorrow that it would make like a whole vlog, you know what I mean? Remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey there guys, so I am actually filming this clip like way after all of the other ones that you just saw and I know I just said goodbye but here I am again. Um, I edited this vlog and realized it was like super short compared to the vlogs I typically put up. I always try to aim for like 15 to 20 minutes or up just because I know that those are the vlogs I enjoy watching. So I wanted to come in and just add a little bit extra onto this vlog and kind of walk you through what I did for open house because I felt like it was really successful. I'm really excited about the format that I use this year and I definitely will continue to use it in future years as well. So also I do have my blue light glasses on right now because I've been lesson planning and working on stuff on my computer for the last quite a while. So anyways, um, my open house night was awesome. I actually had every single kid show up except for one, which is pretty phenomenal. Now I have gotten three new students since then, or maybe two new students actually, two new students since then. So um, I still have not met like those families in the same capacity, but Overall, I'd say that I had a really good turnout, which was awesome. So I ended up doing my open house in stations. And I last year, I did stations as well, but I just said start wherever you'd like, whereas this year I had a lot more direction. I said start at station one and then work your way around. I felt that that was more successful, at least for me, because last year sometimes the parents skipped a station or didn't really understand like where they were supposed to go. So this year there was a lot more direction to it. So as soon as they walked in the room, station one was the table closest to the door and then they had to work their way around the room. Station one was a, a Google form where they would put in their student information. Last year I had these on paper forms and I just felt like a Google form worked so much better this year because I got to have all of the information immediately sent straight to me and now I can access that information wherever I go whereas before I had all of the information in a binder and if I accidentally left the binder at school and I needed it at home then it was kind of a hassle. So I'm really looking forward to having all of that information in one place this also allowed me to ask 
the parents like what their email address is, the best way to reach them, all sorts of different questions that I could have asked on a paper form, but again, it just worked out for convenience. So I had probably between like five to eight questions on there. Nothing was super um, extensive, but it was mostly like multiple choice and things like that, asking about how students will be getting home, asking for parent information, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I felt like that went really, really well. The second station was another one that I was really excited about. I had a couple different things going on. For students, I had a little scavenger hunt. So I really liked that I did that because it helped keep the students engaged and busy while the parents were busy in the room. So the kids got to do all sorts of different things like find their locker number, figure out which team table they sat at, write down their teacher's name spelled correctly, find a classmate in their class, and write their name in one of the boxes, figure out whose birthday was the closest to theirs, and all sorts of other things. I felt like it was really, really successful because it got the kids up and moving around the room and really checking out this space. And also it helped them to feel more comfortable than for the next day, which was the first day of school because they already knew where their locker was, they already knew where their seat was, and it just gave them a chance to kind of walk around the room. And then also they were interacting with other kids if they couldn't figure something out or find something, then they were talking to their classmates about where they might find something on their list. So I really liked that station. And while the kids were doing that, the parents were filling out a note for the kids just like a note of praise or just saying um you know hyping them up a little bit so that was really fun i did do that last year as well but one thing i changed from last year to this year is now this year i put a line for the student's name because last year so many of the parents forgot to put the names on there and i didn't know the parent handwriting well enough to figure out where it was supposed to go <laughs> The third station had a couple different things going on. The parents were given a flip book with all of the information from the classroom because I knew that they wouldn't remember everything just like there in that moment. So um, I actually bought this product off TPT. I will try to remember to link it below, but it's a double-sided flip book and I really, really like that. I just stuck a magnet on the back and uh, I had really good feedback from the parents. They liked that it was all in one spot and that it was a magnet as well. And then also at that station, there were a couple of crates, just like file crates where they could drop off any supplies if they happen to have them my school we do not send out really extensive supply lists so I honestly did not expect to get anything and I was very pleasantly surprised because most of the parents who came brought either tissues or pencils or whatever um, and some of them actually brought extra stuff that I didn't even ask for so that was pretty cool because you know as a teacher it's always nice to get extra supplies so I was really glad that I had a place for those to go and then the final station was my fourth station and that was just um, some little treats for the kids so there was little popcorn baggies that the kids could take home and that was really easy I actually just picked up a bunch of bags of popcorn I think I ended up with like four bags of popcorn three or four maybe um, and I just got them from the Dollar Tree so they were super easy I actually had originally intended on calling the movie theater and asking for the popcorn at the end of the day um, which if you didn't know that you can definitely do that most movie theaters will say yes to teachers They'll let you come get it at closing time. Um, so that was originally my plan But just for time's sake I didn't want to have to leave the school again at night and then have to pack the bags like overnight basically So I decided to just go ahead and buy them and that worked totally fine It was really inexpensive like I said it cost maybe four dollars for the actual popcorn itself and then one or two dollars for the little baggies and then I just printed out some labels straight off my computer and then had my Cricut cut them out. So that was really, really easy. <laughs> So overall, I really loved how my open house was set up this year. I just felt like it went really smoothly. The parents uh, kind of just got the flow of where they were supposed to be going. The kids were engaged the whole time. And then I was available too. If parents had any questions, they could come up to me because I didn't have everybody coming up to me at once because there was a lot of direction already in the room. So unless they had a question, they could figure everything else out on their own. So it really opened me up to be able to talk to parents and get to know students and I just loved it you guys it was awesome so now as I'm filming this I have already completed my first week of school I'm getting ready for my second week of school I did film a vlog last week so that will probably be the next video that you guys see and I will also be vlogging this week as well and my hope is to do a vlog almost every single week so um, definitely stay tuned on my channel if you're not subscribed already please make sure to subscribe and press that notification bell if you're not already following me on Instagram I've been posting a lot more on there and that's kind of a different side of my teaching life that you would get to see if you follow me over on there that is at elementary in the mitten just like it's written right on here thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye bye and should i do the thing again i'll do the thing again there we go